In a world untouched by time, sterilized of all distraction, it exists for but a single purpose. Within it, a sound is heard that will change the face of gaming forever. Hello folks, and welcome to my Let's Play of Portal. This is a game that needs no introduction. This game is freaking amazing. If you live on the internet, you know about this game. Even if you haven't played it, you know about the memes and everything related to it. I'm not going to be talking over GLaDOS, so I have about 10 seconds to tell you what I'm going to do. While she's talking, I'm going to try to push this piece of cup out of the wall by rubbing it against this corner. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety, and the safety of others, please refrain from me. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. So yeah, if you just keep rubbing this against the corner, eventually it will just clip through the seam. I managed to do it with that smaller piece. You can also do it with the larger one, but sometimes it just... It sometimes it just doesn't want to work, sometimes it just works just fine on its own. Let's grab this radio and head on out of here. This was, these radios were, this radio was in the original game, but it was later added as a special, as a special addition to the opening patch to tease for Portal 2. I'm gonna place that there, grab that, where'd my, there it is. I want you out here too. I wanna show you something neat. Quick save here. Alright, the first puzzle is dead freaking simple. You get a box. You put it on the button, and the door opens. Excellent. You don't have the box, Please you stand on the button, the door opens, and you can't get to it. So you put the box on there. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emits a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Oh, really? For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Or a clipboard. And it disintegrates. Let's see what happened with the radio. And it's gone. It makes a really disturbing sound, too. So I'm going to quick load right here, and I will show you something that uh, I missed. All right, well, if you pick up the radio, you can move around, and you start hearing static as you get closer to the specific point. And here, the, the point is right over the button. You hear Morse code. Uh, if you translate that, this is what you get. Yeah, let's uh, just head on out of here. That finishes the chamber number zero. Technically the first chamber, and technically not. I'll try to do as many chambers as I can in uh, the 10, 12 minutes time span of these episodes, but I'm not going to try to rush through them. I want to show you the cool stuff. I want to show you how to beat the chambers properly, and then I want to show you the cheating way to defeat them. Place and I just fucked up. Yay. Yeah, there's a secret for all the radios and all the cameras. If you get all the radios and put them in the right place, uh, you get an achievement for it. You also get to hear interesting stuff about the alternate reality game related to Portal. Let's uh, drop that down here. We can't detach the cameras quite yet. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Okay, GLaDOS, I'll do it as soon as you open up the portal to it. There we go. Yeah, this is another very simple puzzle. The portals will automatically change and uh, just okay. place it on the button. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. And if you, I believe it's right here, there we go, and if you translate that one, this is what you get. Yeah, the first couple of chambers I'm going to be speeding through because there's not really that much about them until you get control of the portal gun, at least the blue portal gun. So uh, let's uh, head on up to level two.
you're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Yeah, there's only so much you can do with the portals being generated for you, so they could give you the portal gun right here, so you can make your own. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... No circumstances. Should I what? Should I what? Tell me, GLaDOS! To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yeah, there's three there's three cameras here that you can detach. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. One on that wall, one on this wall, and then one back here. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. And in order to get the ca the uh, radio, you can either grab it through this wall, which is a bit tougher, or you can just place one on the ceiling and drop down into it. I'm riding on top of it. I do not like when that happens. Okay. For this one, you just place it in the center of the room, and you get that message. Translate that, and that one gives you... So yeah, we got our three cameras, and we got our three radios, and we are ready to rock. On we go to chest, chest chamber, test chamber three. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Oh, well, that's certainly a gap. Okay, well, let's detach that camera first. Place that in the to right ensure place. the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yeah, the design of this puzzle was deliberate in the sense that they want to force you to go through the orange portal. If you, if you play through with the developer's commentary, you learn all this stuff. They want to force you to go, because most people are going through the blue portal and coming out of the orange portal. And they figured that was the only way they could do it. the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. But then you learn that you ha at this point you have to go through the orange portal and come out the blue portal, so that they're both ways. I figured most people would know that, but oh well. All right, and right here we can get another camera. For your own safety, do not another radio. Vital testing apparatus. And you will search all you want, but you can't find the specific place where the signal comes in. It's strongest right here. So what you gotta do, you gotta place a portal up on the ceiling, or up near the ceiling. Put it through here, and there you go. And translate that, you get... Alright, let's dump that out of the way. Head on through. But first... I will show you the quick way of doing this level. If you're doing a speed run or something... Please place a portal here, place a portal here, and there you go. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is Finish the perfect like time seconds. to have her tested. And that does it for this episode. The next one, we will take on Chamber 4. And Chamber 4 is where things start to get really fun. See you later, folks.